Congratulations on winning your UFC debut. <laughs> Thank you. How does it feel? It feels really good. I'm super excited. Super. Yeah, it's nice. It's so what's it like now being in the UFC, going through the whole process? You know, has it been what you imagine, better, worse? Yeah, you know, I mean, I got a short notice call in April. So I went through like the entire fight week thing. I pretty much did everything besides actually fight. So this time go around, at least I was a little used to it. Uh, like what we had to do during fight week and stuff. And just, I live at this time, I got to go in there and fight. And, uh, you know, it was everything I expected. You know, I've been training since I was seven. I've been fighting for a long time and I've always watched the UFC. So I had a pretty good idea of what it would be like. And I feel like it kind of matched up to my expectations. So going through that fight week, I'm sure was, I mean, obviously you want to fight, but mm -hmm. was there a little bit of a benefit? Like you said, now you knew, you knew what to expect. So coming into this one, it didn't exactly feel like a debut. Oh my God. hundred percent. Like I felt like the first time I was here, like even going to work out at the PI, I felt like a little self-conscious with all the other fighters around and stuff. But this time I felt so comfortable. I felt like home. So I think that experience come, even though I didn't get to fight that time, I feel like that experience was super beneficial for this go around. Was there any doubt that it would happen? I mean, it, I looked at your record and there's so many canceled bouts. I mean, w was there any doubt like what is going on? What's, I mean, when is this going to happen? You know, I mean, thing, everything happens for a reason. I feel like I haven't fought since July of 2020, but I gotten so much better. I feel like that the time between then and now. Um, so maybe I needed the time. You, you don't, you never know. Um, but I knew Sarah was tough and I knew she wanted to fight. She, she needed the money, obviously. Um, so I knew she was going to show up and I was going to get this fight. So I wasn't more too worried about it. Was there anything about her that surprised you? Uh, you know, her submission defense was pretty solid. Um, I mean, she was just as tough as I expected. I know her last fight with Jessica, she took a pretty bad beating and she still wanted to keep fighting. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't anything I didn't really expect, except the submission defense was pretty solid. But she knows I'm a GHC black belt and I was EVI champ and all that. So it made sense that she had good defense. And when do you want to get back in there? You know, um, November 6th, they have their card in Madison Square Garden. I mean, right now I feel pretty good. I'm, I mean, I have adrenaline pumping right now, but if, if I can get on that card, that'd be awesome. You know, I was born in New York. I'm from New Jersey. All my family and friends are from New York and New Jersey, and they can come finally see me fight. Um, and that'd be like a dream come true. I definitely want to fight in MSG one day. And do you have an opponent in mind? You know, I, there's so many girls I could fight. I think there's so many possibilities. And November 6th is still a little bit away. So I think they would have some decent notice if they wanted to fight. Uh, so I don't really care. As long as I can get on that, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. Just curious, out of, uh, out of 10, how would you rate your debut? Um, maybe like six or seven, because I didn't get a finish. I really wanted to finish. I mean, I knew she was super tough, um, and I feel like I took my time and stuff like that, but maybe there was a, f there's a few adjustments I think I could make for the next one. Despite that, though, it's pretty much one-way traffic. No, the first round is as dominant as we've seen anyone make their UFC debut in. So is there something you can take away from that? Like, okay, I didn't get the finish, but I at least, you know, smashed it. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it shows that I'm supposed to be here. Um, you know, I, I feel like I kind of knew that, but obviously nobody else knows until you get in there and you prove it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it. I think it was a good fight. I think I'll be able to go back and watch that and see some adjustments I have to make. Um, so yeah, overall, it's pretty good. And then going back to this thing about how you had the dry run earlier this year I mean, without the fight, do you yeah. look at that and think like, wow, that really worked out for me in my, in my favor? Like you, couldn't, you didn't have the nerves that you may have would have had that time and so on and so forth. A hundred percent. Because a lot of times getting into the UFC, you get short notice fights and then you'll be fighting. Like you don't know Friday and then next Saturday you'll be fighting. So I got that short notice call and I got to go through all of the fight week and then it didn't happen. But then I got, I knew about this fight since like May. So I had a, a huge notice. I was able to prepare like physically and mentally for this. Um, so I think it was a huge benefit getting that short notice fight, even though it didn't happen. Um, it benefited me in the long run. Congratulations. Thank you.